nice flounder right here. It's beautiful. Look at the teeth on that. Nice. Still out there? Hey guys, I just caught this little grouper. Gag grouper. Little gag, gag grouper. grouper. They gotta be 24 inches. I hear flounder fishing. Alright guys, so this is what we caught for today. Wasn't a bad day at all. And um, we're now going to cook and clean them. First we're going to clean them obviously. And I'll show you how we clean them and how we cook them too. Alright guys, so we're back here at the house. And um, here are the fish in the cooler. We're about to clean them. We got them under there. There's a... Uh, five flounder, two black bass, and I think I was five Spanish, which is a pretty nice day. It wasn't all that bad. Spanish weren't where I was hoping they'd be, but it's whatever. And so guys, we're about to clean them.
All right, guys, so we're finishing up cleaning the fish. And uh, if y'all are wondering what we were using for rod and reels, we were using these Shimano Stratic 4000s right there on these <clears throat> Shimano Terma rods. And they're my personal favorite for uh, Spanish fishing with these casting jigs, just some sink silvers. And um, so that's what we're using for Spanish and then for the jigs like, for like the bottom jigs and stuff, we usually use these pin conflict two 4000s with the offshore angler rods. And then those are real nice for uh, bottom fish jigging. And for cobias, I know we didn't catch any cobias yesterday, but I really like this, this setup on the Saragossa Shimano 6000 with uh, a lighter um, rod. Yeah. I really like that. And then I think that was about it. I think we were using, oh yeah, I forgot about these. These are my, I was using live bait on this yesterday with Carolina rig. And this is my favorite live bait rod reel setup. Uh, it's a Shimano 300G uh, HG on this nice Shimano rod. Is literally my favorite setup. You can feel absolutely everything at the end of the line. So that's real nice. We got two of those, four of those Shimanos, and two of these pins. And that, there's that Kobe rod again. And we're about to cook them up. I'll show y'all that too. We usually like fry our fonder. And uh, I think we're gonna fry the black bass too. And then we're gonna bake the. And then we're gonna bake the uh, uh, Spanish mackerel. So now we're putting all these bread seasoning on the flounder and some of the black bass. I can see there. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be good. All right, guys, so we just ate the flounder. We finished those up. They were delicious. We fried them. Here's just the leftovers. We had some people over that uh, all the guys that went fishing with us, them and their families came and uh, had them up. They were delicious. And, guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more content because it's going to be coming your way, especially in the future and so hope you all have a great day and i'll see y'all later